Welcome to week five of Kevin Harper's Road to Glory. This week we're playing the Friendswood Outlaws. We're going to come out of the gate throwing the football. Oh, this is going to catch them so well. Oh, I guess not because I'm in a receiver. Oh, going deep. What's going to happen? Whoa, where was that pass going? Second and seven. Here we come. Going to do a pitch play to the outside. First run of the game. First run back at home in two weeks. Oh, no. Uh, and it went for a three-yard gain. So, not the greatest return so far. What is with us wanting to pass the ball? I think this is the first time ever we've passed the ball, like, on one drive more than once. Unless it's been, like, in the final two minutes of a half. Oh, I... Alright, I called for the ball, but he shouldn't have thrown that. Oh, I got a tackle! Did I get... Do I get credit for that tackle? Alright, first and ten. We're in outlaw territory. Fullback actually threw a good block, and... It took four of them, but I went to the ground. Five-yard gain. Halfback sweep, second and five. Okay. Goal line formation. Gotta love it. Oh, what in the world? I don't... Oh, man. Had I been slightly faster, that goal line formation at, like, the 50-yard line could have been a touchdown. See what I can do here. I do have the fullback on the field, so that's... What is he doing? The full... Oh, my God. The fullback cut back to the left. That wasn't the route. We're going to pass the ball again. Last game, we threw the ball eight times, or like eight or nine times. And it was crazy because I never see him pass that much. I think that one act was actually thrown to me, so it helps my stats. Third and five. No, 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 no. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Made that guy miss. Oh, wait, there's a flag. Please tell me it's on the defense. But it's probably holding. Clipping by Weisbecker. They're going to decline it. And we're going to go down 7-3. to three. 10 carries for 50 yards. This is so far my worst performance. At 5 yards a carry. So far it's my worst performance. That and the fact that I didn't score at all in the first quarter. I think it's the first time that's happened. What the heck? He just horse collared me to the ground. Okay. I guess that's legal all of a sudden. Merka, can we please flip the play so I have more yards to work with on that side of the ball, please? Please, Merka. Please be a smart quarterback. Guess not, Kick. Oh, and you're taking away a blocker. That's even better. Yeah, I don't... What was the point in optioning Ostrander away from that? I'm going to run no huddle because we're losing and I don't like it. But I don't see the point in him uh, motioning Ostrander to come to the other side of the field. It was point... Don't do it again. Oh, my gosh. All right, at least he's blocking over the middle, but that's not going to help me at all. Turnover. Third and three. Try this again. Oh, my God. That was my bad. I seriously screwed up on that one. I went to the inside. I didn't think he was going to throw the ball yet, and he threw it right where I was going to be. Hopefully, within the next couple quarters, we can turn something around. I don't want to have a close game. Because I don't feel too comfortable in these close games, especially because it's mainly the quarterback, and I feel like the quarterback normally screws up. Oh, fourth and six, four yard gain. So now we've got 38 seconds to go, 65 yards. This should be fun. But where's he going with that? Oh, Ostrander caught it down the right sideline. All right, 31 yard gain. Our offense is showing some life. Merka, 10 passes in the first half? Wow. I'm looking like a real quarterback now. Oh, no. That was a dumb throw to begin with. You threw it into double coverage. 6 for 11, 54 yards. All right, Merka, this is, this is your time. So you throw it to the dude who's like 7. No, we're going for this. We are going for this. Fourth and seven. Ten seconds to go. Did he catch that? Where was he throwing that? I don't even know who that he was throwing that to. But our offense showed some life, and now it's dead. Oh, man. We are in trouble right now. 
we are in some serious trouble at this point. 21 to 3. Murka, it's up to you. I can't do crap right now. Going deep, and Murka overthrows him. I don't know what to do, so I'm trying to just come up with some sort of thing to preserve stamina. That way I can still run the ball. Because eventually we're going to get to the point where I'm not going to be able to do anything, including run the ball, because fourth quarter comes around, you're down by 18. You're not running the ball that much. You're going to maybe do two or three handoffs, but with five-minute quarters, you're definitely not going to run the ball that much. All right, Wildcat time. We've got to score this drive. If we don't score this drive, they might as well just give us a loss. Yes, oh, did Murka truck someone? I think Murka trucked the receiver. He was supposed to be blocking. Touchdown. What did you do? Oh, my God. Our quarterback, who hasn't really been able to block that much all season, just ran over a DB to give me some room to score. That's amazing. Okay, so starting the fourth quarter, we're down by 11. We've got the ball at about the 45-yard line. And our offense has struggled up until the last couple drives. Third and one. Oh, man. I'm I'm getting these short little gains, and I'm not, I'm not abusing all of my stamina possible. And I'm not going to get anything else. Four minutes. I've got to get something big. I can't just keep getting these little three- and four-yard gains. But the... Freaking guy not blocking that fullback or that middle linebacker is not going to help at all. Why would you like... He cut in to help block a lineman that was already blocked. Alright, it's up to you, fullback. You got to do something. Okay, why didn't you keep running towards that safety? Had you kept running towards that safety, I would have got the first. Oh, no. Now we're running this stupid option play. This isn't going to work at all, coach. I'm going to button mash X. I need the football. Merka... I was button mashing X. It's fourth and three, and they want to run the ball. They spread their D-line, though, so we may actually get it. As long as those linebackers don't blitz. I got it. First down. Oh, man. This game is this game is too close to, for comfort right now. Or it's not even close right now. I'm trying to pull off a miracle. What would suck is to do all this and then the defense let up another touchdown have to do it all again within three minutes. Throws, caught, touchdown. All right. Eight for 16, 73 yards, a touchdown and a pick. He's thrown the ball 16 times today. His, like, highest coming into this game was eight, if that gives you any idea of how, on how bad I've been running the ball. We're going to go for two. All right, coach, it's your call, but I don't know how smart of a decision this is. Yeah, actually, no, I'd probably do the same thing. Oh, my God, that lineman killed that linebacker, whatever he was. But now we're within three, so all we need is a field goal now, and we're going to overtime. Our defense held fourth and five. Here we go. Two minutes, down by three. This could be very big. See if I can hold on to the ball here. Oh, man. Eight-yard return. I'm not really that mad because I need as much stamina as I can get if we're going to score this drive. And Coach still wants to run the ball with two minutes. Oh, we have three timeouts, so I guess it would make sense, especially if your top offensive weapon is your running back. Here we go. Going to run Wildcat. Hopefully, Merka can... Oh, my God. Merka killed that DB again. But I couldn't get to the outside fast enough. But Merka annihilated that DB again. You know what? Let's run the same play. No huddle offense. That's what we're doing. Coach might be really ticked, but that's exactly what we're going to do here. Oh, Merka threw another good block. He didn't run over him this time, but that's what I wanted to accomplish right there was a first down. A minute 40 to go at the 50-yard line, down by three with a quarterback that normally plays pretty bad or not smart I guess 13 yard gain there I might just be calling for the ball because I don't want him to try to air it out and get picked or something 
I would hate that so much right now if he just started chunking the ball as far as he possibly could. Oh, what the heck? Really? Okay, second and not or second and ten. A minute twenty-five to go. We're not even at field goal range yet. At least probably not for this kicker since he's in high school. Alright, that's a first down. Down at the 20 yard line. Eight catches for 68 yards. I've caught eight of Merka's 10 completions. Oh, we're going to run jet counter. Okay, a minute to go. This could be the thing that gives us the lead if those safeties bite hard enough. And they certainly did, but 44 got in the backfield way too fast. Okay, a minute to go. Come on. All right, we waste a timeout. Second and ten. One minute to go in the ball game. Down by three. This isn't looking too good for us at this point. But we've played very well this half, or late in this half. Oh, I'm in. Touchdown. 22-yard touchdown. But I think I may have left them with a little bit too much time. Here we go. They have 43 seconds to do something. 21 25. It's all up to Friendswood now. And all up to our defense, actually. Oh, they're going to run it. Yeah, you can't run the ball like us. It doesn't work. 40 seconds to go in the game. Second and six. And once again, they're in that same formation. Are they going to run the ball again? They are. Oh, they got the first two. Dave Peoples. D Dave Peoples of Friendwood, Texas. First and ten. From the 45, 35. I'm not even sure. 35, I think. Oh, man, they throw it deep. That's picked. We picked it up. That's game. We win. It's over. There's no way they're coming back from that. We'll take a look at this throw. All right. I would have thrown that pass too. If he's going, yeah, I would have made that pass nine times out of ten. That was just a good play by that safety. Yeah, that would have been my decision so much. That was an amazing play. Oh my god, that was scary. So, because Merka doesn't know how to run out of clock. On first down, he snapped it and kneeled it, and they got a timeout. They had a timeout, so they used it. The second time around, he did it, and it won't let me run down the clock on the play selection menu, so I had to select the play again, and he kneeled it instantly. So I tried to run hurry up to get him to run out the clock, and he left one second on the clock. So now they have the ball at the 31-yard line with one second to go. Because Merka doesn't know how to run out of clock. Going deep. Incomplete. They almost caught that. Oh my god, Merka. That game... It looked like he caught that. Oh man, that game was... That was the craziest high school game I've ever played. Without a doubt, hands down, the craziest high school game I've ever played. If Merka just knew how to run down the stupid clock, we would have won that game without any other drama. But no, I think the receiver dropped the pass too because it got tipped into the air and I think it hit the receiver's hand at one point. But we'll, go, we'll see if we can look at that replay real quick after this. 27 carries, 173 yards, one rushing TD. Nine catches, 90 receiving yards for two touchdowns. So in this game, we really did show our versatility, especially in the uh, receiving part of it. So we're going to go to highlights. We're going to go to view and create. And we're going to look at this replay. All right. So Parker just aired it out into three receivers. It was tipped into the air. And look at that. He had it. That was going to be a touchdown. No doubt. But he couldn't hold on to it. And luckily those guys just tipped it to the ground afterwards. 
That could have been very, very bad. So Oklahoma State has offered us a scholarship. And Alabama, Arkansas, and Auburn have offered us all a scholarship. So I'm going to go with actually Auburn in this category. Hey, look, we're ranked 51 now on the ESPN's top 150. That's pretty good. I wonder if we can get to one before the end of the regular season. We have three games left, week six, seven, and eight. Next is against the Wichita Falls Rangers. So that should be pretty interesting. That will be the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and please come back for the next one.